This week, Drew and I are out campaigning. We're hitting the campaign trail for the sticks that we enjoy frequently and we kind of like, kind of, we'll enjoy them. So we're hitting the campaign trail. We're out there. Stogie Geeks, if you follow Drew on social media, me on social media, or Stogie Geeks over on Facebook or Twitter, we encourage you to get out there and vote the sticks of the choices that are there, that are in. Make sure you vote. You have six days to get your ballots in. It's the official Stogie Geeks 346 ballot there. If you are listening to this and you need email, then email me and Drew, and we'll send you the link that way for it'll give you everything you need. Next show, we're going to review the revote, the results. We're going to talk about it. So who will win? What are the sticks? Stogie Geeks, episode 346. Wow, that rhymes. Starts right now. This is a Security Weekly production. Broadcasting live from G-Unit Studios in Rhode Island, it's the show where cigars burn slow, ashes fall fast, and cocktails flow steady. It's the Stogie Geek Show. Welcome everyone to the Stogie Geek Show. Joe and I are already silly. Oh yeah. yeah. Joe Josepa, a.k.a. Joe Hollywood is here with me in studio. I'm fired up. So we also have remote Drew, who is remote over in Texas. Look at you. You got some Stogie Geek swag going on in the background. Got my banner. Where are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm all set up for the uh, Stogie Geek uh, Mobile Lounge. A Venice Cigar Club located in Warwick, Rhode Island, is a great place to enjoy a drink and a cigar. Stogie Geeks listeners can find a $5 off coupon on our website by clicking the HCC logo. Confidence. Confidence isn't walking into a room with your nose in the air, thinking you're better than anyone else. It's walking into a room and not having to compare yourself to anyone in the first place. Cigars, perfected for more than 150 years. Yours to enjoy now. Stogie Geeks, welcome to episode 346. I am your host, Joe Hozempa. Privilege and an honor to be here. I am joined. Joined. Oh, yeah, that wine is good. <laughs> Woo This is good stuff. I nice am joined stuff. remotely. By my co-host, Ms. the little dockhead kid from Texas, Mr. Drew Galvin. What's up? It's voting season, my friends. It is. It's, set, it's time to vote, or we have voted already. Kind of. I even got. I even got my stylist from my voting on Tuesday. Look at you. But, uh, they give away yeah. styluses over there in Texas. Yeah, look at this man. This thing wow. is pretty awesome, man. Yeah. All I got is a sticker, and I popped yeah. it in on my laptop and. There you go. This way, <laughs> this way, because when I go to a cigar shop, I'm usually doing some sort of computer work anyway. And when people start right. talking politics, I'm like, do you have a sticker? Oh, you do? Okay, then we can talk. You don't? Oh, then we can't talk. There you go. Bottom line. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so yeah, that, that with a lot of exciting news as far as the uh, all the COVID stuff and, you know, uh, just uh, the anticipation, waiting for the uh, decision. mm but we, on another hand, are going to have a, a decision regarding cigars that you and I both have picked out for our um, viewers and listeners to uh, vote on. Right. And next, next, we'll tell you the votes, and uh, we'll give a decision next Friday. Yeah, we'll tally. I'm excited. 
We'll tally up the votes. Hopefully it'll be quicker. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, uh, I don't know. This is the th- this is the type of year season, right? It has nothing to do with the election season. This November, December is like a blur, right? Like I'm doing I'm looking at the show schedule, right? And we have like freaking five episodes left of the year. And I'm like, whoa. One of those episodes just to get your mind going and stow your geek so that you tune in. We're gonna be doing our predictions for 2021 with cigar companies that we uh, are excited about. And want to look out for there yeah. as well. Um, we could do a bold prediction on some some stuff uh, as well. You and I will talk offline and prepare that. So we got a couple of end of the year specials that I've been doing annually here uh, as the host of Story Geek. So I want to continue that. Um, I always like to go back and check, um, you know, if I was even remotely close or not. And, you know. If I was in college, I'd be having a good grade point average. So, I like to think that yeah. well, I like to think that we know what what, what we're doing here on Stogie Geeks. But Stogie Geeks, I want to give you the lay of the land of how this works out. Okay, so if you go to to uh, StogieGeeks dot com forward slash three four six, that's today's episode. There's a link there to vote. If you go to Drew's Facebook or Twitter, there's a link there to vote. If you go to my Facebook or Twitter, there's a link there to vote. If you go to Stogie Geeks Facebook or Twitter, there's a link there to vote. So you can't miss the vote, okay? So it says uh, episode, it says Stogie Geeks episode 346 official ballot. You can go there, and there are four sticks to choose from. Today, Drew and myself are going to candidate for our candidates, for the sticks and story geeks you get to go there and uh vote on that and then we'll have the election true um you ready to go you you want to go first or you want me to go first yeah go ahead go ahead kick it off first and then uh we'll we'll go from there okay now the ballot order like you know I, i'm i'm a political science major right i have a degree in political science economics right and and it's like i, I it's very important on the ballot order of how you put these sticks there, right? And um, so on the ballot, I switched up the you, you, instead of your two, my two. It's gonna go uh, drew me, drew me, right? So that's the way that goes as far as the sticks. You'll you'll notice that as we go through this episode of which sticks that we were um, kind of campaigning for, and this stick here kind of came. It came to me. It, it, it came quick to me, right? Uh, mm-hmm. I, I am starting to become a fan of the brand, okay? And uh, I'm talking about uh, in I'm talking about Foundation Cigars, right? Yeah. Uh, the Foundation Cigar Company. The stick that I want to put on the ballot is the Foundation Goliath Perfecto. That is a Ooh. stick. There obviously, it's uh, pretty new to the market, very new to the market, extremely new to the market. But this cigar, I am such a fan of this cigar, and I'm such a fan of the progression of where this cigar uh, has in its in its repertoire as far as other sticks from from found, found foundation cigar. Uh, super cool. Um, you know, the size is not really like my ballpark, but I mean, I'm talking flavor for days you will get from this cigar. Okay? This cigar has a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper, all right? Mexican San Andreas binder and filler leaf from Honduras and Nicaragua. I've always. Cl- love Honduran Nicaraguan blends. I think it balances uh, v- very well. Connecticut Broadleaf is is really kind of like really sticking to me as as of late. There in general, um, you know, and uh, with this stick, it's it's a perfecto size. It's it's a little it's a little different, right? You got fifty eight ring gauge. Five, it's five by fifty eight. Uh, but that Connecticut Broadleaf is just giving you flavor, and it's unexpected flavor that, um, you know, you when when you have it, you're like, wow, like uh, I I I, I kind of palate was dancing all around, and I became super excited for this cigar. 
Can't talk about a cigar without. I'm a sucker for marketing as well, right? Uh, it's, mm-hmm. it's what I do. The label is super cool. I encourage you to throw that thing in the Google. Check it out. Uh, if it's available at your local retailer, go out there and get them. It's part of a series, two part series. You have a David and Goliath, right? Um, right. You know, and I'm 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 all for it. All for it. I think that the uh, Story Geek listener, if they seek out this stick, they're going to have pleasure and tantalizing senses on their palate. So, I encourage you to vote for one of my candidates. That is the Foundation Cigar Goliath. Yeah, that cigar right there, man, with that dark Connecticut broadleaf. From what I'm understanding, I have yet to have one, but I have had... Friends in the East Coast and in the Northwest have had gotten their hands on some of these, and they're telling me that that, that dark uh, broadleaf is just really putting out a lot of flavor uh, or aromatic and just really blending in with the uh, Mexican San Andreas binder. Mm. Mm. So with, with that, I and mean— And speaking yeah, of the not, repertoire, right, like the Foundation uh, Cigar, like that freaking yeah. Tabernacle Lancero— is amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that, I, that, but that's not on the on the on the ballot. But that's it'd be on one of ballot. his like, you know, office men, like, you know what I mean? Like maybe I could right. run for Congress or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me talk about my budget friendly cigar. Budget so friendly? <laughs> budget friendly. Hey. Something that, that the uh, blue blue side likes. Uh, La Flor Dominica Airbender. Mm. Uh chisel six fifth uh six 650 by 54, and it's a uh, wrapper's Ecuadorian uh, binder and filler, our Dominican Republic. So this cigar here, you know, it, since it's since it's been out, and this is the second, I believe, the second wave uh, for uh, LFD to put this out, and uh, you know, it's really really a, a high complex cigar to begin with, but just understanding that and the beauty that is in encased uh around that ecuadorian wrapper with their dominican republic tobaccos and binder it's just one cigar that that just keeps giving you um uh, you know a beautiful and gorgeous and just <laughs> having a absolute you know great time with the cigar just you you, you just keep it keeps repeating itself every time I go back to the cigar. And I know other people that have had it uh, would agree with me that uh, it's really, really, really a great cigar. You got the chisel? Uh, the chisel, right? Yeah, the chisel. How, yeah. Do, you, how do you do the chisel? Because uh, there's some people that get pretty rowdy. with, with You can get rowdy with, with, with the chisel. But how do you do yeah. the chisel? Then I'll tell you my, my rowdy stories that I've heard of how people yeah. chisel the chisel. And, yeah, it, it it upsets me when people <laughs> take this chisel <laughs> <laughs> and just really abuse it. I mean, they just they don't they look at it, they don't know what to do with it. They're they're trying to cut it with a deep V cut cutter, or they try to take their little pocket knife and try to put a slit in the chisel. And I'm like, no. So what I do is I actually just kind of you know put it in my mouth and just kind of get it where it's moist enough where. It's it gets soft and then just kind of start just slowly but ever so lightly biting that tip and kind of just you know uh, making a a separation there so that I can definitely take a draw out of it and for me once I light it excuse me my camera's over here <laughs> once I do light it um, you know it 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 dries it it dries that area up a little bit for you know within you know every time I take a draw so I I like to I like to keep it as 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 it was intended to be is the chisel cigar. Mm-hmm. I don't, you know, I don't try to widen it. Some people, I see the, they, they try to squeeze the tip and they try to bite the tip. And I'm like, no man, just, just, just take it easy. I mean, read the instructions on your cigar. wrapper. <laughs> there is no do. instructions on the cigar wrapper. That's, well, I, it's, but, it's, the, but, but the instruction is, is just, you know, look at it and, and use common sense. <laughs> Mm. So, no, I know there's no instructions on her, but yeah. Uh, actually, if you listen to uh, some of the videos they have, they kind of tell you how to uh, 
know, they, they kind of give you an instruction how to approach the chisel. So, uh, other than that, this this uh, Dominican binder and long filler tobaccos are 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 aged to perfection. Um, it, it definitely it's got very complex notes of black pepper, uh, sweet spice, you know, coffee and and caramel. Uh, you definitely get those. And I, I'll tell you, uh, add this to your collection uh, and just be one with it. Um, it is. Uh, you know, it, it it has been touted, uh, you know, for a top 25 cigars in the world. So, uh, but the attraction and the, uh, the uh, like I said, consistent balance uh, and, and, and having the same experience go through and through uh, the different cigars you smoke in this, in this uh, LFD airbender, you, you, you'll be very happy with it. So I would say vote for the uh, La Flor Dominica Airbender. Uh, you know, go out and try it if you haven't, and I guarantee you'll be uh, emailing me, thanking me for this uh, uh, opportunity uh, for this candidate to win. But uh, other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. Mm. Cut and dry. You brought up a good point. What would you say is top twenty-five? Top what? Yeah, top Ooh. twenty-five. Mm-hmm. Oh, so it's it's got what? it's got it's, it's got a, what do they call that in politics? A track. It, it's been vetted. It's been vetted. You know, I love yes, it. it I, I'm such an it like an AM radio junkie. I just you know, ha, it, it, it's like super blessed to have the opportunity to have my own AM radio show back in the day, and you know yeah. there was once a business show and then obviously a cigar show and whatnot. And like I I absolutely love when people call in and, and like you know you start going back and forth and all that type type stuff but what, what this is like a time where obviously i'm i'm listening i listen to am radio daily but uh yeah. you know this is a time that's like people call in and whatnot and you know uh here it here in rhode island the the speak the current speaker of the house has been um outvoted so now there's a new mm. speaker, and they're like, "Oh, you know, we gotta vet this guy," and, and they get all they get all rowdy and stuff like that. <laughs> and it's it's just, oh, dude, I, I I just I love it when 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 some of the yeah. old timers get all rowdy and whatnot. So, oh, yeah. uh, so I'm gonna get rowdy on you, right? Like with 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 the La Florida Dominicana Airbender, like you know, yeah. it, it it it's it's a good choice, right? It's a it's a very good choice. I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna skew the election and go poo poo on your choices to leverage my candidate, but it is an election. So you know you can it give is. it if you need to give it back to me on my um, on on mine. Feel free. It's 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 open forum here on episode three forty six of Stogie Geeks. But you know, like, is this a frequent flyer for you? Like a real frequent flyer for you? Like because I judge cigars by like you know when you have days where you you can only smoke one cigar. You're just, you, you, every second of your day is pressed and whatnot. And the right. cigars that stick out in my mind for the, for the frequent flyers, the ones where, where like, you know, you, you, your mouth starts going like, yeah, I need a cigar. Like, it's, yeah. it's cigar time and whatnot. Like, is that one of the ones that really pops in your head and goes there? Yes, most definitely. I mean, this, this for me, it's, it's about relaxation to the max. It is a full body cigar. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is. I mean, it, it, they tout it on their website as a medium full body, but it's definitely a full body cigar. So, uh, you know, it's it's it, it definitely is something that I would say uh, three times a month. I'm a revisitor of this cigar, and yeah, and you're right. I mean, it's it definitely there's a umami effect. I guess. Is mm-hmm. that, yep. Uh, am I saying that correctly? Yeah. Yep. And so, yeah, this is one of them. I mean, this is one of them that I definitely have a, a, a hankering for, I guess, if you want to call it that. Uh, you know, when I do uh, get to that time of the of the of the week or month where I decide, you know, okay, this is this is the perfect time for me to get with this cigar, and and I, I I'll do this one just with just the good clean water and 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 be happy. Uh, you know, so just just to you know. For me, it's just it, it definitely uh, you know it hits all the other things I like about other cigars, you know, and the complexity uh, of notes. So 
Yeah. Yeah. This is my one of my go-tos for sure. Well, one of its competitions, On frequent, frequent. one of its competitions would would be that Foundation Cigar Goliath, the one that I mentioned, right? Yeah. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> and you know, I, I get that same like like wow, like it's balanced, right? And and there's some cigars that that really I I have said it before, they really stop me in my tracks, uh, and 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 you know. I believe that the 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 Goliath would would do that uh, for you as well. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Uh, switching gears a little bit before we get into the other two. Uh, have you had the uh, HVC Black Market Twenty Twenty yet? I have not. You. I believe you guys sent that to me, and I still haven't. I haven't got around to those. HVCs no, no, no. Yet. You I had see. you the ones I sent to you with with the with the Twenty Nineteens. Oh, okay. The last year. Twenty Twenty. Yeah. No, I have. Twenty Twenties no. came out. Here in the Northeast this week, Ooh. and I've said it here on Story Geeks. I the only thing I didn't like about the 2019 Black Friday was wow. the size, and the size is little, and it's super wrapper. It's a little bit longer. It's a heck of a lot thinner, and it yeah. is it's tasty. Now 2019 is a little bit more potent. But yeah. 2019 is uh, 2020 super tasty. Just so, the reason why I'm bringing it up is just because like that was a strong runner up for the uh, the the ballot right to make the ballot uh, mm. there. But I didn't want to make it a cigar that comes out as an annual and and stuff like that. I wanted to go with kind of like frequent cigars that story geeks would be readily available to. But my message is, uh, Havana City Cigars, man. I'm, I'm, I'm getting to be such a fanboy uh, mm. there, there too, uh, as well. Um, that hot cake is super good. They came up with, but that Black Friday, um, see if you uh, have some. If you can't get some, I'll have to put some in a box and have Nelson ship some to you because it'll get there faster. <laughs> so how did how did how did you how did you come up with your two? What was your process? Because mine was more like, I'll, I'll show you what mine was. Actually, yeah, so yeah. I, let, 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 let's talk about the process. And before we get yeah. before we get any emails saying, Joe, there might be some misspellings on the ballot, or there might be some things that are all weird on the ballot. Hey, <laughs> this is an election, right? We we can't have it like you, you know work, right? Right. We ha- we can't have it work right. We have to have some sort of 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 there. So uh, we don't need those emails. Yeah. The ballot is official. Yeah. You get the point of which sticks we're gonna talk about. <laughs> I just I was like I was taking some letters out, taking some things in. I got some curveballs for this election <laughs> too coming up. So you definitely want to s- still listen to this podcast, or maybe there might be uh, some curveballs over the week on social media. Right. I- I hardly doubt some people will send us to uh, fact checker. Oh, bro. no, I don't know. It's Twitter. It's Twitter. I mean, you know. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, following the stock market uh, and, and all of that stuff. Uh, to you know, they, they'll do some fact checker. I'm waiting for them to take the survey down. The cigars wrong. Then I'll be like, okay, they're really on their game. Like, you know, like <laughs> you, you can't have a poll without misrepresentation if not then i'll be like ah oh, we'll see but i did try i mailed my vote in right and i did uh-huh. try to go to the town hall and vote and it didn't work didn't go it didn't work it did not work so at least at least i know that my town is doing things the right way right. but i actually went like i was like yeah i'm gonna go and, and, ju- and just to check it out like because you know mm. and and so yeah so they're like you voted already i'm like oh shoot that Thank you. I, I just want to make sure it's in the system. Oh, yeah, Mr. Ozep is good. <laughs> so we're good. You know what I mean? We're good. Look we're at good. that. So I like that. So one Joe Zeppa voted in, in, in there. I think I'm, you know, uh, I, I just I had to do it. Like, I had to test it, you know? There you go. That's how my brain works. So, okay, take the Story Geeks listeners to your process, and then we'll, we'll get to the other two cigars uh, coming up soon. Yeah. How did so, you come so, to the conclusion uh, to put these cigars on the official uh, episode 346 ballot? Yeah. Well, no, I, I mean, you know, I, I as I was sharing with you uh, off offline is that I always I have my one uh, cigar humidor that that's my everyday go to. And so I looked in there and just kind of laid them all out because I had to rotate them anyways. 
you know, so. Oh, it was a rotation was, week? No, I just <laughs> figured, you know what, this would be a perfect time to rotate. And my, and my <laughs> wife, the look at my wife's face is like, you know, it's like, I can't believe you treat those like, like there's some really alive, pro, you know, deal you know like they're alive i'm like they are but baby it's organic <laughs> all right <laughs> it's organic so, yeah. what do you want to do what do you want to do <laughs> yeah so I, I i so i have it i have my humidor that has a, a, a three sections you know has three sections to it so oh, I, I, I can't wait for this i'm, I'm actually gonna crack a beer for this i'm gonna have a beer yeah. and a wine for this this is, <laughs> this is good this so is good. I, so i have my i have my uh like darker wrapper and i'm not saying that all dark wrappers you know are 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 the same so and then i have my connecticut broadleafs and and then on the next one i have pretty much my milds that i would that would share with friends so i can immediately tell that my my medium to heavy body cigars were a lot lower lower in count than the others so i went through those and then i went through some of my uh, backup stock, <laughs> check those and just started moving things around. And so, and, uh, you know, I, at that very moment, I had a thought in mind, I need to keep a, uh, a log of, you know, what cigars I smoked and what, you know, what time of the week or what have you, just what day, basically, just so that way I can go back to my backup stock and fill that one back in to the humidor that I use every day. So anyhow, Oh, I'll start with the boring chatter. Here we go. So I so I, I looked at the cigars. I looked at the boxes that I had in my back stock, and I started looking at the numbers. And then um, from there, I started to easily equate, you know, which cigars that I really, really look forward to uh, during the week. And the, these are budget-friendly as well. I mean, these cigars are less than 10 bucks. So... Uh, so yeah and and pretty much went through the process of just uh looking at the uh bands because i keep the bands and uh just just looking through them kind of you know uh, uh figuring which one mm. really mentally drew me to the to that to that uh those sticks so uh, pretty much it that was I it that was... <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow well well well, well that was all right all right. So it's a, it's, it's a, it's a it, 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 yeah, I know what you mean. I, I, I get it. I, it's, it's a process. <laughs> no, you know. <laughs> Joe, let me ask you this question. Me ask you this. Do, do you, when you rotate your cigars, are, 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 are they like quarter turn? Because, like, if you had a wine cellar, right? You have a wine right. cellar, right? Story Geeks. Yes. Here's, here's a good, uh, I do. here's a good thing. <laughs> I can't tip this totally upside down, but there's a thumb mark over here, right? This is, mm -hmm. this is there, right? So if it's in a wine rack, right? And actually, I don't want to. I don't have a clock on this thing, All right? Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. All right, we dumped the. We dumped the. So if it's in a wine rack and it's it's in a wine rack, there are, there are dots all around certain bottles of wine, right there. And then this is a thumbprint, right? So what happens is they're all in there, and they they actually pay someone to ro stick the thumb in and then rotate the bottle of wine, whatever to the dots of a specific time and that there. So if you're looking for a visual on the bottom and you're always wanting to wonder what, what, why there's an indentation, so they grab the thumb and then they rotate it, right? Reason why it's true. Uh, when you rotate your cigars, are you going like a half a turn? You're going like quarter turn? Or are you going like 100, and, you know, uh, almost like, like 360 degrees? Like, well, what are you nah. doing? 180. One eight and uh, yep. and and and, band, and, and band. <laughs> I have a visual, right? I have a visual. Are, are they all like like the labels are up and down, like organized? Yes. Oh my god, are you serious? Yes, seriously, dude. That's crazy. That's. I mean, it's just that. <laughs> that's crazy. You know, I want to make sure that the humidity, because uh, uh, I, I got one of those J.C. Newman. That's my that's my everyday box. The J.C. Newman uh, humidor, mm -hmm. and uh, it's nice. It's a real. I mean, it's you know, it's a nice, uh, and it doesn't break the bank for everyday use. But I mean, they they come with a nice digital, you know, uh, hum uh, humidity control system. Hydrometer. What? Hydrometer. Yes. <laughs> and so, excuse me. <laughs> Hydrometer. And uh, yeah, so I can say uh, it, I'll, but I don't use it. 
<laughs> right. So, yeah, flip, you know, and I, I was told by some experts, you know, if you flip them, and I don't know if they're messing with me or not, but whatever. So I, I digress. I, I I just do it. I just flip them on, on the front side label or back side label, and I do that uh, once a month. Mm. And that's just, in, you know, because a lot of those cellophane wrappers, they, you know, they, the humidity can, can reach the cigar. Um, so I want to make sure that the bottoms are not just, you know, or the top, it's just not being exposed. So they, they said to rotate them to, uh, to help, uh, keep them in correct humidity. Um, are you messing with uh, me right now or are you no. like, okay, no, no, seriously. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I'm just asking I'm, for a friend, you know? <laughs> Yeah. No, seriously. <laughs> wow. Mm. But uh, so, do you have I mean, like yeah. a timer on your phone, like it beeps? No. Like a month, every month, like you know, what was yesterday? Six. Today's the sixth. Well, yesterday, yeah, like the fifth of the month, you yeah, no, you I, you rotate because I'll call you on December fourth and remind you that in twenty four yeah. hours you have to rotate no. your cigars. No, no, I just have this. It's a it's a father's intuition. You know, you just kind of run to your humidor and. It's time. <laughs> Drew, I need. I, I I think the story geeks would would, would uh, uh, if not the story geeks, at least me, right? Half, half of the things I do on this show are like self entertaining, right? The right. other half is like is like self entertaining. Anyway, right? Uh, you have to go Facebook Live when you rotate your next stock. Yeah, I could do that. We should That'd do a countdown. Funny. Yeah, like we should do. We should do like. All right, in 24 hours, Drew is going to be there on Facebook Live. He's going to rotate his stock, dude. I would, uh, I, I'm going to throw a watch party. I'm going to throw a watch party, and I'm going to do it. So we can, we, can yeah. we put that in the list of things to do? I think so. I think it'll be fun. I think I, 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 bet, I bet you it'll be interactive. I mean, I'm pretty sure there'll be another expert, you know, uh, and he'll probably give, give us some other uh, nonsense to but who are these experts that you're referring to? Like, well, these are guys that these are guys that are in my lounge. You know, they're they're up in their seventies and eighties, and, mm. and so you know. Uh, but no, I mean, I we do it with our lockers there at the lounge. I mean, we do. you have rotate. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Wait a minute. We have a rotation day. We have a day. <laughs> with, are you serious? I'm serious. And you all get and together. I, well, baby, this, I, this I, I, can't, after, I, I can't. I can't. I can't do that errand with you. It's rotation day. Yeah, it's rotation day, and you know it's it's uh, so we take you know we take some uh, whiskeys out and we uh, drink some and then we go on and do the rotation. Thing. Same process of... for the for the member box <laughs> you know, one hundred and eighty yeah, degrees. Pretty much one hundred and eighty degrees. Just no. take it and twist. It. Yeah, and, and don't, then, you, uh, don't you guys get in each other's way with the elbow room? Oh no, it's we got a big. Come on, we got, we got space. <laughs> we got to adhere to the COVID, especially during this time. No, nah. so, so you get your mask nah. on because you know the governors say you have to stand up, and if you stand yeah. up, if you sit down in your chair, right, you can take off your mask, which I understand because you're smoking. But if you stand up and go to the bathroom or oh, yeah. rotate your cigars, you have to wear a mask. Oh yeah, we just we just start yelling Batman when we see somebody get up without their mask. Do like you Batman. have? Uh, do you guys have a curfew over there now? No, no curfew. No curfew. Yeah, we have a curfew. Ten o'clock. Uh, we we have to be home. And tucked in bed. Yeah. Good news is, good. <laughs> good news is, I I looked at my girl. I go, well, I've been, you know, the little guy's gonna be in bed by eight eight thirty. So I've been home by ten. You know, very frequently. Right. I'm not home out out of ten. You know what I mean? So I'm like, oh well, it's business as usual for us. But yeah, they're cutting yeah. down on on some of that stuff. All right, cool. Yeah, we're, our number our numbers are starting to go up though uh, for COVID. So we're. We're kind of nervous right now here in Dallas because they're they're talking about okay let's start let's start shutting down or let's start putting in some kind of uh, curfew, um, but you know we got a bunch of naysayers that are running the streets right now and of course you know they're screaming um, injustice or what have what not because sure. of the uh, trying to stay safe with everybody but yeah wow so. All right, so how did you, so how did you pick yours. So wait a minute, same process, 180 degrees in both places. So yeah. there you go. There's a good story geek tip for you story geeks who want to rotate. And story geeks, if, if you're out there rotating your stock, uh, invite Drew and I to a watch party. We'd, I'd love to. I'd love to watch you guys do that stuff. Um, yeah. My my, talking- my process is a little different. Uh-huh. 
right? Um, I, I don't I don't rotate stock because uh, they're all in usually a Ziploc bag, right? <laughs> If, if I'm walking so around, roll, so they roll around. They on roll, their own. <laughs> they're all switching around. You know, even, even Nelson, he's so funny, right? Uh, after the show, sometimes we we go we go have a we go next door or or we'll go to Churchill's and have a smoke. And he's like, dude, I cannot believe you don't have a travel humidor. I'm like, dude, I have a travel humidor. I just don't. I don't use it. I don't. I don't. It's not. It's not like I'm not walking around. Whatever's yeah. in my travel Ziploc bag. Is going to be smoked within the next 48 hours. Oh. And other than that, I'm grabbing some more. So why, why would I, like, why, you know, because, like, people, and, and, and again, it, 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 it's just, it, it's all habit, right? They'll walk around with, like, the cigar they're never going to smoke but show people. And I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? Smoke it. Yeah. Smoke that now. This is a, a 2014 uh, you know, Huma Majiggy cigar, and you know yeah. I, this is safe for a special occasion. How about you woke up today? That's a special occasion. You know what I mean? Like freaking <laughs> smoke that, and it's like, dude, it's been in the humidor for freaking two months. I've been talking to you. Once you're gonna cling around and all that stuff is crazy. Well, you know, you never know if you want to trade with someone or trade cigars. I I give cigars away. You know what I mean? I'm like Robin Hood sometimes when 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 we get yeah. batches of stuff. Now, unfortunately for you, I gotta mail them, which takes time and all of that. Well, <laughs> but like I'm like, yeah, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna. I'm like Robin Hood next door. You know what I yeah. mean? Like freaking, yeah, try this, try that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I'm the, you know. I, yeah, I'm the same way at my at my uh, lounge, and then also at home. You know, I got neighbors, and they, uh, what you know, Halloween was just passed, and we had some kids come through, and we kind of put the. Uh, the bowl outside oh, and yeah. just kind of and just kind of let them you know what do you call that distance or oh, contactless you know grab your candy kind mm. of deal so we did that but with my neighbors they, you know they're like they're coming through it and it's funny because someone goes hey uh what about me can i get a cigar <laughs> you know the dad or oh the, yeah <laughs> the uncle hey hey drew can i get a, can I get a cigar hey, sure hold on i'll be right back <laughs> <laughs> did you hand it to them, or did you throw yeah. uh, do the PVC pipe thing? I saw people oh, post oh, it on no, Facebook. No, no. <laughs> no, I handed to them. You know, and you know, you know, yeah, oh yeah, I handed to them. I don't want to abuse the cigars. Come on, so yeah. You know, did it you was, give them good a, cigars at least? Yeah, I gave them some decent cigars. That's I gave them cool. some Romeo, uh, Romeo and Julietas. You know, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good cigar. Did you tell them it was rotated 180 degrees monthly? No, 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 no. <laughs> 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 um, one more question: How long does it take you to rotate your stock? Well, I was going to say, so I only have to do this to at, least, uh, at the most uh, thirty cigars. So, oh. so it, yeah, it's 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 thirty cigars uh, for the month that I go through and just rotate. So, and then um, and now and as I bring a new one in to replace it, because I always do a replacement. As soon as I take it out, I grab another one from the other, you know, from the box and put it in there. And so, so that cigar has to have the optimum amount because the hydrometer wouldn't work if it wasn't right. And it, you know, and if, yeah, and I make sure because I have the uh, what is that the the prog uh, what's that thing that cigar medic? <laughs> oh yeah, uh, yeah. How's that working for you? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah, I play with that thing still. Uh, <laughs> it's working great. Uh, it's doing its job, I guess. You know, it's doing for, its job, right? Till the batteries, yeah, doing, till the batteries run out. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. I, I, I will tell you this: that, yeah, yeah. that Pardo, that Pardo tool that I bought, what two weeks ago? Oh, the three and one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one we had Pat on. Oh man, that's that's one of the best uh, punches I've ever owned. I mean, that's like wow. That and then and then it it actually the cigar nub turns into a uh, cigar uh, holder. Hmm. You know. You flip it upside down, and or you flip it on its yeah on its back, and I mean I, I posted photos on that on on our social media, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. Mm. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like it. I like it. Uh, I want to take some time to talk to you a little bit about the Foundation Goliath, which is up for vote, right? Yes. Uh, that is a five by fifty eight Perfecto. It's available in a twenty five box count. Um, Make sure you go to all of our social medias and vote for that one. It's about an eight dollar stick, huh? Uh, it can be. I I I, yeah. I I don't know. I didn't. I don't. I didn't look. I have a tab. Yeah, I, 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 I'm I'm very. Uh, you know, I have tabs going on in a couple of different uh, 
couple of different shops, and I just like, oh yeah, I tried this, I tried that, and and yeah, that's that's you know. Well, the Goliath for a box MSRP on the box is three hundred fifty. So yep, and, and then the David's three hundred. So yeah, they're about you know between eight and eleven bucks a stick. So not too bad. Yep, yep. I'm it's telling good. you, the uh, broadleaf on that will leave you with a connection of uh, passion and in, in intimate pleasure if you vote for it. Nice. All right, but what, not, the, not, what, not, not to not to be blunt though. You know, what, what, people, what? People, people will vote for my uh, LFD Airbender. You know, yeah, uh, they, they just would. And why? Maybe because it's so good in complexity. Maybe, maybe uh, to answer your question on the chisel, right? I I yeah. do the same thing. Uh, I I kind of like chew it a little bit, just a scotch. Uh, there to get an opening, and and you get a real unique experience with the chisel. I've messed oh, yeah. around because I hang around with with a bunch of older pipe smokers as well. Uh, yeah. For for my other uh, job and for for my business, you know, I go to like pipe smoking clubs and stuff like that. Uh, it's 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 crazy, man. They got the vest. They're all into it, dude. They got the vest, <laughs> and it's got like freaking. It's like a fish. To me, it reminds me of like a fisherman's vest. You know, it's got like three or four or five, ten different pockets. You stick oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's got fisherman's vest, it's a smoking vest, and stuff like that. And they got the thing. And I, I walk in with a pipe that's in my backpack, right? And it's thrown in my backpack in like tins <laughs> that are rolling around on my tactical backpack. You know what I mean? And like a, a plastic baggie if it's bulk, right? If I buy, if I get right. bulk tobacco, and they're like. You know, you should really get a leather pouch. I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'm like, ha. you know, and, and dude, they get like, like fired up, like, like, like oh, probably yeah. more than like Nelson would about my 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 Ziploc bag, like, you know, they get like, well, you know, it's it, you don't know because it could get dry and whatnot. I'm like, well, if it gets dry, I'll just like mix it. You can re, you know, when I used to own my shop, like we've dealt with some dry tobacco before. You know, you can like respray it and bring it back to life. Wow. You gotta make sure you use this optimal water and this and that, dude. I, 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 I like, I, I mess with them so bad. But what I've did was they were talking about because they actually asked me about that cigar, and uh, yeah. particularly you know, like the chisel. Do you know that you could do a bullet to it up through the chisel and make it come out almost like a pipe? And I was like, oh, oh. cool. So I messed around yeah, yeah. with that. I messed around with that. You know, you got to be careful. You got to get your thumb, and you got to go easy, you know what I mean, and whatnot, uh -huh. and get it through, and then do that there, and I did it. I mean, for me, it was weird because now the, 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 the smoke channel is kind of going up and down, you know what I mean, but like a pipe right. to, to kind of like mimic a pipe. But, dude, they were like, you know, they used to actually, if they felt like cigars, they would go to that cigar because it had a chisel. You know yeah. what I mean? And and they kind of like, because, again, you know, it's like they, it's like you can tell when you walk into a shop if, like, they're, like, really into hardcore pipe tobacco or if they're yeah. really, like, premium cigar guys or, you know, if they're Jewish state guys, stuff like that. They, 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 they fit the profile, right? <laughs> Not not that profiling is, is 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 correct, but you know. Right. Yeah, I had Lito Gomez. Uh, he sent me a he sent me this uh, kind of like a video snippet mm -hmm. of what he does, and so that that's how I learned to do that because he was just like you know most most people will will, will try to cut it with a device like scissors. I mean they'll try to cut that just that just to break that seal open. Yep. But that tends to lead to fraying and 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 and. Uh, I mean, it's a pretty thick leaf to begin with, but mm. there will be uh, those fringes, and I, 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 that's about the one part I hate about if I, un, or if I cut a cigar uh, incorrectly, or if I cut too much of it when I'm using my guillotine, um, it you know just leaves those slivers, and then just throughout my smoking, I'm having stuff stuck in my teeth, or I have to cut it again just to get it out of my way and move forward. So yeah, but yeah, that's. Uh, that chisel, it's uh, that that's a good thing to do with the uh, with using the uh, um, the punch because you're right, it does. That's just like a pipe. So never thought about that. No, yeah, they they've yeah. gotten pretty rowdy with that. Um, yeah, I like that. You know, they they've done that. Have so you could do that there with the bullet and make it yeah. make it there. Um, 
one of the things I did too uh, is just you take a, a deep V, but don't deep V it. Just get the right. tip of the deep V and make yes. a little slit and whatnot. And uh, it's a super cool stick to kind of mess around with and stuff like that there too. Yeah. But I encourage sure. the Story Geek listener to check out the artwork on the Goliath by Foundation Cigar and cast your vote. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's oh. the other, what's the other what's the other cigar that that made the ballot? Because you have one more, and yeah. I have one more, and then you'll do one more. Then I'll talk about my process, and then we'll do one more, and then we'll wrap up. So go ahead. Okay. Yeah. So we did the I did the Monte Cristo Espada Escuro Racuso, the five by fifty four, and we've I've talked I've I've uh, we talked about this in one of our past episodes <clears throat> on the, what what have we, we've been smoking. So. Um, and yeah, as I said before, this is one of the, again, another, uh, medium to full strength cigar. Uh, it's a, it's a Nicaraguan puro. Um, the, uh, Habano, uh, wrapper on this, the school wrapper on this is very rare. So it's not something that they grow consistently, uh, and age. So this is, uh, this is specifically chosen for this cigar, uh, and the perfectly aged tobacco. Um, and the smoke is, is, is bold, you know, um, full flavored and just really, really, uh, uh, strength and strength wise. It's just really there for, uh, those of us who like a full body cigar, uh, you're going to experience smooth notes of chocolate, earth, white pepper, uh, cocoa and hints of fruit, dry fruit. Um, but these are, I mean, again, just a dark, uh, um, delicious. Just the Espada. Is just for me, it's one of those cigars where, if I could probably go through, um, I, I, if I could have this cigar twice a week, I would. Um, I just right now with all the other cigars that we have that we that you and I go through, Joe. Uh, it's part of it, it. You you want to kind of get to everything that's out there, and experience it. So, you know the bandwidth. To smoke two of these a week would be, it, it would take away from some of the other things that we're working on, you know, uh, in, 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 in reviews or just smoking experience, period. So uh, uh, the, the the cigar itself, uh, you know, it's a champ. Uh, there's, uh, it's, 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 it's a big stick as far as, you know, as I said, you know, in, in the full body. Um, this, this cigar again, um, uh, is a second installment for Espada, uh, for, for Monte Cristo, uh, Espada. Um, they again turned to, uh, Placencia family in Nicaragua to come up with the tobaccos on this. And I'm pretty sure they got into, uh, uh, Nestor's private, <laughs> very private selection, uh, in the availability of the tobaccos of this. So they, they really wanted to get something that was well-made, uh, well-cured, uh, aged, and just give you that experience that no other uh, cigar out there in this um, price point was going to give you. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's uh, there's a lot more to be said about the cigar. Uh, let's uh, I'll open the floor. Well, not to um, encourage the Story Geek listener to vote for the Foundation Goliath, but uh, this, you know, trying to be fair, right? I'm trying to be fair. Mm -hmm. Vote Goliath. Um, with being fair, this cigar is interesting to me because it's exciting and new for Monte Cristo. Uh-huh. Right? It's it, it, it's it's it, you know for if you haven't tried it and and you, you story story geek listeners that are out there if you haven't tried it like it's it's not like ah it's Monte Cristo I smoked a bunch of them that's what I think is so <clears throat> super cool about this industry is that the I guess you could say the boutiques or the newer companies that are out there 
are forcing, I mean, let's face it, Monte Cristo is a staple, right? It's a staple cigar. Most of us oh, yeah. have had experience with the Monte Cristo white, right? And right. then they come up with that Espada series, and it's like the darkest offering that they have, right, for that line. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I think that that's, that's interesting because it brings, it, it pushes their boundaries. I'm not saying it pushes their boundaries from a creativity pers perspective, but it pushes their boundaries to enter into a market share of the consumer who smokes a particular brand that might not fit the profile of how we know classic Monte Cristo. Did that come out right? I think it came out right. Yeah. If it, no, yeah, yeah. if it didn't come out right, I'm mixing wine wine with beer here. Uh I'm enjoying both. So cheers. No, you hit it up. You hit it on the <laughs> you hit you hit the uh the, the nail on the head. You know, it's on, like on it's like one. it's like a re it's like a revergence, right? And yeah. the same thing happened uh, a couple of months ago. Do I have it here? I don't think I have it here. I might have it here. I'm not too sure. Do I have it here? No, I don't have it here. It's in my it's in my um Ziploc bag. On my desk. Um The Romeo and Julieta collaboration with AJ. Oh, yeah. With AJ. Do you ever oh, you yeah. had that? I have not had that, but yeah, I know, I know what mm. you're talking about. Mm. Yeah. And like I'm not I'm going to go there, right? I have to go there. I couldn't sleep at tonight if I didn't go there, right? Like when Monte Cristo, your Monte Cristo Espada stretched the boundaries of classic what Monte Cristo is known for, okay? We agree with that. Yeah. Darkest offering that they have to offer, we agree with that. Okay. Like, when Romeo and Julieta try to do that Nicaraguan thing by themselves, eh. mm. you know, and I tried yeah. to take out the notion of I'm expecting it to taste like a classic Romeo and Julieta, right? Yeah. When I had the AJ collaboration with Romeo and Julieta, I'm like, eh, I don't know, man. I'm just like, eh, you know? And there's some super cool uh, things that come out of the AJ uh, factory, like the uh, Foundation Goliath. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. If you want to vote yeah. for that, if you want to vote yeah. for that on our election board, Drew, you got to learn You got to learn how to campaign. I'm telling you, man. You're, you're, not, just, you're not campaigning here, Drew. I'm just saying the Monte Cristo spot is uh, a Scoro. Uh, Recuso, <laughs> it's a big effing deal. It really is. Woo! <laughs> I mean, I, I'm just telling you right now. I mean, this this uh, if you don't if you don't vote for this stick, you know, I mean, you know, it's it's failure. Woo! Oh, all right. Now we got <laughs> now we got some mudslinging going on. If you don't vote just, for that it, one, it's failure. Yeah, it's failure. I mean, you know, it's inevitable. You know, it's it's uh, it's like unforgivable. You know, gotcha. Just tell him. Gotcha. Just tell him. So my process <laughs> of of how I came to the sticks before I get to my other stick and then we'll wrap up. My process was, um, what do I like, and what am I into, yeah. and what do I, what do I, what do I like? I don't want to. I, I really hate to say like go to right because like, as we know, I'm not like a a go to guy. Like, because people ask me that, like, you know, oh, you're like, if if they find out from some either the shop owner or something, like, you're the host of Story Geeks. Oh, really? You know a lot about cigars? I'm like, I don't know. Oh, sure, right? I'm like, why? And like, well, what's your go-to stick? And I'm like, can you put it in a category? And like, no. Like, what's your favorite stick? I'm like, can you put it? Like, what's my favorite? Like, freaking, like. I can't live without stick or what's my favorite freaking stick for the money? What's my favorite yeah. unicorn stick? What's my favorite Cuban? You know? Yeah. Of course yeah. I only get them when I travel, but you know, uh, you know, like what, 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 what's, what's my, like, I'm like, Oh, well, you know, they're like, well, you don't have to make it complicated. I'm like, okay. So my favorite stick. Yeah. Okay. Like, okay. Like then they always use the word, like what's your go to stick. And right. I'm like, I'm just not a go-to guy. And like, man, you're making it impossible. And these are literal conversations that I have. I'm like, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm not being a ball buster. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just asking you, like, what criteria do you want me to use? Because I really, truly think 
and I and I believe in in my core, like my core, right? It has nothing to do with Stogie, Stogie Geeks, the show, the platform, any platform. Like like my core is like every stick is special, and every mm-hmm. stick has an audience, and it's up for the cigar company or manufacturer, depending on where, where they are, right? To introduce me to that experience. And that and that is like what I that is what I see here and I'm in a shop, right? I'm in a brick and mortar, not happening. Does that make sense? Mm. Yeah. Like like it does it's sense. not happening. Like you're coming here to relax and unwind or because you like smoking cigars or whatnot, but like are you really into it? And not into it for the I mean the camaraderie is great but right. into it because it completes you do you know you know what I'm trying to say right. and and like or it's a part of you and some sticks come and go like the wind for me some sticks right. I am all hot and heavy for and I, I I I like salivate I get that umami like I want it and then mm-hmm. three months later you're onto you're something new it. right I have the freaking what's the word that was used? Um, not was it Coolions? What 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 word was used to describe this election? Coolions, fortitude, uh, something like that. I have the Coolions to tie. If it's Coolions, I've I had it on top of my head. <laughs> Been drinking. I'm sorry. Right, freaking. Uh, I, I had the Coolions to say like, dude, like, like that. Those cigars are the ones that stick out for me. Are the ones that sure. like like that because as you know we get ex- we try to try something new we try to get something new we try to get out there do our thing and it's like you know okay you know uh, it's good but it's not my it's not something I would go back to but let me tell you something this next stick like mm. I, I I don't think it should run for for the gusto it's the king. Like it's the king, and and with that further ado, I want to introduce the Stogie Geek listener, and you can vote for this stick for the Noel Rojas Blue Bonnet. I love this stick. I love this stick. I order it from Texas. I right. beg local freaking cigar shop owners to carry it so I don't have to freaking order it from right. Texas so they're readily available to me. Drew, you are responsible for that. I know. You I remember. Said, and I was like, the, the funniest thing, and since I'm open and honest on, on this podcast, <laughs> right? The funniest yes. thing is, here's how the with thing. Integrity. Hit, with integrity. Oh, yeah. Oh, with integrity. Right? With integrity. I yes, called do. you up and I said, who the hell is this Noel Rojas? And you yeah. said, and I quote, dude, you interviewed him on Stogie Geeks. <laughs> 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 and I was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that guy. <laughs> I remember that guy, yeah. dude. Oh, dude. And, and if you followed me around, like, dude, D- D- Jersey Shore has nothing on, on us, like on yeah. me and my crew. Like nothing, right? <laughs> it's because that we're just like freaking hundred miles an hour trying to do crazy stuff. That's how we. That's how we roll. But anyway, I'm like, and it was funny because I'm like, who the hell is this new no 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 has blue on it? And you're like, dude, you interviewed him on Story Geeks, like when you first started Story Geeks. I was like, oh wow, right. that's crazy. So that's the truth. And Noel, I apologize for not remembering you the first time, but shit, I remember you this time. And and right. I want to encourage that Story Geek listener, if you are looking for Noel Rojas. Just go to Google, type in Underground Smoke Shop in Texas and right. get yourself some. He'll ship it to you five, six days, depending on the way you live. Super cool. Awesome dude to deal with. I can't wait till we can fly again and I can get that my 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 keys are down in Texas because I'm rolling up in there. And oh, yeah. uh you know, but let me tell you something. This blue bonnet wrapper, Ecuadorian Corojo. Nicaraguan Corojo binder, Nicaraguan Corojo filler. It's available in a bunch of different sizes. Get them all. Because yeah. Noel Rojas, category king, king of small gauge. Yep. He's king of small K-S-G. gauge. And, 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 and small gauge cigars give you flavor. 
And if you are just tuning into the show or finding us out or watch Story Geeks in the reverse order, type in Noel Rojas, the interview that we did last, or type in the first one too, because that was an interesting interview uh, when I started Story Geeks. I might get to that. Uh, but, um, you know, I'm like, I, I absolutely positively am a fan of this. And it's so crazy that he shipped me some. Right, and then I bought some, and he shipped me some, and then I bought some, and we're going back and forth and all that stuff. And I have turned so many local people on. I'm like, dude, I'm like, try to stick. Right. The, the like, you want you want my go to? This is my vote. This is what I freaking love. This is what I crave, and I've been on that for six months now. Yeah, and, you and, sure have. And, and and I I just I don't know. And just so you know, as we speak, because I carry everything in a Ziploc bag, there's one in studio and it's Johnny's because I gave him oh. one. And if I don't get any more soon, I'm going to pirate his shit, too. <laughs> Johnny says no, but I I I I will fight. I, I I don't know what it is, dude. I cannot like I order some and I and and I call on the ground and I try to you know and and you know and I'm like, dude, and they're like, dude, like you really like I'm like, dude, I just I don't know what it is, man. It just fucking yeah. speaks to me. It's crazy. <laughs> so anyway, um, Ecuadorian Corojo rapper, Nicaraguan Corojo binder and filler. It's available in Lancero, Toro, Robusto, Corona, Torpedo, and another size uh, that's five and in in one eighth by forty two. Dude, Stogie Geeks, I'm telling you. And if you think I'm off my rocker on these, uh, email me at Joe H at com. I'd love to hear from you with that yeah. uh, there too. But that is on the ballot. Yes. And uh, we'll see how many votes that that gets. He's a king of small gauge. And it's super freaking yes. tasty. And it's flavor for days. Mm. And if you want to get rowdy, smoke them back to back. And, of course, you picked a cigar I can't talk smack about because I love the guy. And he's here in my backyard. But not only that, he's a whoa, great whoa, person. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't be trying to play nice. If you don't like the cigar, you don't like the cigar. No, no. I love the cigar. What are you talking about? Why do you think I gave, I turned you on to that cigar? Just remember that, folks. That's true. That's true. Drew that, Galvin shares. But, dude. If there's a good cigar out there. I will let you know. That was there's that was video. that was the most funniest freaking moment of our off-air conversations that we've had. I mean, we've had, we've had some good doozies, but I'm like, yeah. who the hell is Noel Rojas? And where did you get <laughs> these? And you're like, dude, you interviewed him. <laughs> yeah. It's like a, it was like uh, your second show. That was, uh, your, dude, yeah. my, the second your, show was a blur. Second show. Hey, like, uh, one of my constituents there had a, just recently had a birthday, right? Is that Was it not Johnny's birthday this last week? Or? Yeah, Johnny's birthday was last week. Uh, uh, a yeah, producer, yeah. the one who makes yeah, yeah, yeah. us look good and sound I'm, good and Serves me yeah, all my, my con- he serves me all my, my liquor while I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, as you as you just heard, I called him my constituent. So uh, I'm counting on his vote and Gustavo's, of course. Since uh, oh Gustavo, yeah, his uh, trusted yeah. assistant, like Batman and Robin over there. Yeah, exactly. So uh, happy birthday, Johnny! I, I know I told you over on Facebook, but. Uh, Hopefully he went over next door and got a stick on uh, Joe's account, as instructed. Yeah, Johnny, so. make sure you did that. And Gustavo, I keep feeding him donuts because he needs to eat. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry, uh, Johnny fed me donuts. <laughs> Johnny's like, yeah, have some donuts. He gives them to me in a plate. Like, dude, he takes care of everything here. Like Johnny and Sam, I like the best. Sam yeah. takes care of all the administrative stuff, anything production wise. Johnny, like, dude, Johnny was the one who actually introduced me to this bottle over here and said, hey, why don't you get in some of this action? I said, all right, I love wine and beer. It'll be a great Story Geek show. It'll well, again, I just, I, just, I just want to tell our Story Geeks listener, I mean, the floor Dominica, Dominica uh, Airbender, definitely good, uh, great cigar for you to vote on. Um, why? Because it just, it just, it just is. I mean, 
there that that uh, as i said you you will enjoy that cigar uh in your regular rotation um uh i can't say like i said I, there's nothing bad to say about noel rojas uh, there's nothing ba- i mean not bad i shouldn't say the word bad there's nothing to really debate on it i mean that blue bonnet cigar i've had the statement when it i've when had that first, too and and for a i mean the statement is phenomenal yeah I mean, that's an, it's another phenomenal stick um with the omate tobaccos and what and whatnot and then the blue bonnet and now he has the ksg as well and I've had that and man they're they're all they're all great I, th- I think you'll find your favorite for sure will be in the blue bonnets because a lot of people here in texas we can't even keep them I mean, mm-hmm. you know, we. I mean, as soon as they arrive, they're gone. I mean, that's. Uh, I know Don over at Underground. I mean, he always is posting something on Facebook like all the piranhas have already come by and oh, yeah, gobbled gone. up. Gone. But they're gone. Yeah, they're done and gone. And then he's been on that ride for. I'm. I'm going to say close to a year now. I mean, he's been. I mean, Noel. Once he put those out there, man, they've just been very consistently. Uh, 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 a favorite become a fan favorite fast uh i know he's working with uh he's working with was it hoy hoy uh edgar hoyle mm-hmm. they, they they have a collaboration that uh that's gonna be super cool. get, yeah that i i've yet to get my hands on i believe they're out i'm not i have to look that the, they're coming i think or back you know not yeah. about to say back order but the, the, well, because of COVID, because of COVID, the, uh, the 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 distribution issues and the uh, the tobacco uh, is you know getting the uh, the source of the tobaccos. Mm-hmm. But uh, as with a lot of other uh, other companies that are having that issue right now with COVID, because I've I've talked to a few just this past week, and uh, uh, just like uh, the guys, that the I don't want to call them the boys, but the guys over at. Uh, and uh oh my gosh texas bradley. Uh, yeah no i'm talking about bradley and uh uh alec and bradley uh, yeah alec and bradley you know with kintsuki Ken, Ken, because we've been waiting for that stick as well yes uh, to come through so yes. yeah so that was again they were having uh boxing you know i know box uh boxes weren't available um so they you know that's been so, shipped here in the northeast i'm very close to alec and bradley uh, uh okay. in, in a company that's been shipped here in the northeast i don't know about texas i should start asking because you're there right i yeah. just i just you know mentally forget sometimes not that you're there but yeah. you know what i mean uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's been shipped here and alec bradley is come uh, i'm sorry alec bradley is coming out with a new stick yes. um no not the project 40 maduro a new new no. stick that oh, is being really? created and i've had samples of it and I cannot talk about it John, just yet. Where's my sample, John? But it's <laughs> it's um it's named after like people from like our hometown, the town I live oh. in, which is oh, like wow. freaking crazy. And cool. they're coming out with that. Uh, it'll be March. March is what they're saying. So in cigar time, that could be uh, April, May, June, July. Right, August, September, right? But yeah, so but um Project Forty is coming out with Maduro. I'm actually rocking this freaking black market Esteli. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I'm 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 on these I'm on these uh you know, le- at least one a week for sure. I, I'm also gonna say that uh you know if the president has to have a stick, it's gonna have to be a big stick. And the uh, Monte Cristo Espada Escuro Picasso. I think you'll enjoy that. If the president has to have a stick, it should be a Noel yes. Rojas blue bonnet. And he should say, if his microphone works when he's at his next event, saying, hey, that Jose <laughs> from Story Geese got that shit going on, man. That's, <laughs> that's, that's what he should say for sure. Drew, uh, <laughs> one more question before we wrap up in these next couple minutes. Are there yeah, yeah. any ones that kind of made, like, that were in consideration for the ballot yeah. uh, there? And just 
let's disclose those. And then Stogie Geeks, yeah. don't forget, go to stogiegeeks.com forward slash 346, and you'll be able to vote or follow us over there on social media. The ballot is open. It's open for the yeah, next six open. days, and you'll be able to get out there and uh, vote for your sticks. Oh, also, Drew, should we have yeah. write-ins? Yeah, we can have some writers. That'd be kind of fun. Okay, yeah. sure. So, that would be fun. Okay, so Stogie Geeks, if yes, you geek. want to write in a cigar and you get enough votes for that cigar, so encourage your friends to vote for your cigar, in order for the vote, the, the write-in to be valid, you have to email Drew at StogieGeeks.com and me, Joe H, at StogieGeeks.com. In order for us to count that, and I will print them all out, and we'll tally that up. If you want to write in a cigar, so if you want to write in a cigar that is not on the ballot, that's a fair thing, right? Email both yeah. of us, and uh, it'll be counted, and we'll, we'll we'll tally those up as well. Yeah. <clears throat> so my other one was going to be: the, Are we doing uh, this purple. popular vote or electoral votes? Uh, we'll do the popular vote. Okay. Because I was going to say, yeah, electoral we'll votes for every one vote for the uh, Goliath or the Blue Bonnet, you get five electoral votes, and the other <laughs> ones you get two. Right? <laughs> but, right? So, you know, the, so the Monte Cristo is two. Oh, oh, but we're not doing that, right? We're doing the popular vote? Popular vote. Okay. That'd be, that'd be simple enough, because if we do with the uh, electoral <laughs> votes, then... We'll probably have to get some uh, attorneys involved and make sure that they right, were, right. you know, they came from, you know, one IP address per vote. Right, okay. right. And yeah. if you want to include Nelson at StogieGeeks.com, your vote doesn't count because he's not here on the show. Yeah, where where is Nelson, by the way? It's his, it's his birthday yesterday. Oh, my God. What is so, he, a princess? Happy, no, he's, he's going weekend. away with his family. It's great it's family oh, okay. time. That's one I'm thing. Just, uh, okay, that is I'm one thing sure. I admire about Paul, founder of Story Geeks, founder of Security Weekly. Family, family, family. And, no, no, not and, Paul. I thought we were talking about Nelson. No, that you're, you're not following the bouncing ball, or I'm drinking too much. Either way, oh, right. But okay. one, but both. Johnny says <laughs> both, right? No, <laughs> Paul. We encourage family here at Story Geeks. Family, Story yeah. Geeks, Security Weekly. It's family, yeah. family, family. It's Nelson's birthday. He's with his family. Right. He told me where he went. He went Happy birthday, north Nelson. with his family, hanging out. Yeah. They're doing COVID things, social distancing. They're gonna nice. chill and and super cool and and that's that. I spoke to him yesterday, so yesterday oh. was his birthday. So happy birthday to Nelson! Oh, that's right. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought his birthday was earlier in the week. No, but, it's uh, a blur. It's all no. a blur. This whole world is a blur. There's all. <laughs> see, the problem is we admit that the world's a blur, and we just ride the ride. You know what I mean? Right. But everybody's trying to control. Control yeah. is an an illusion. But anyway, the reason why the reason why I was calling him a prince is because some people like to celebrate their birthday for the month, you know. Right. Well, Drew, you we, know what? We have to wrap up in a minute. So okay. give me the the cigar that almost made the ballot, and then we're gonna wrap up, and then I'll give you mine. Yeah, the uh, Sobra Misa uh, Brulee from mm. Street Soccer. Yep. I just I just knew that that would be a landslide, so that's why I didn't pick it. I'm like, you know what? People are gonna be like, yeah. That, right. Right. Okay, yeah. so all right, so all right, cool. Mine was pretty simple. It was the uh Eric Espinosa Laranja. Laranja. Okay. Freaking yeah, love that stick. Love yeah, it in various sizes. I love that stick. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is. I'm just I just can't I, I'm on it. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I am going to wrap up the show and then I'm gonna get a Laranja and I am going to a cigar shop. And I'm yeah. gonna meet some more people, and I'm gonna get I'm gonna them do the same thing. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get them to vote for the Noel Rojas or for the uh, Foundation Goliath. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, people would people are going to vote for my sticks. I, I I I already have this this feeling in the world that uh, they're just gonna come by and 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 vote because these two sticks are phenomenal. I'm not saying your two sticks are not phenomenal, but I'm just saying mine are more. More and more. more phenomenal. Okay, more. is there yeah. anything that we didn't add in to make it a fair election? I think we're 
we're covered, right? We got the write-ins. Yeah. Just to review, you write in, Drew in, Drew at stogiegeeks.com, Joe H at stogiegeeks.com for your write-in yeah. to be valid. If they outbeat our cigars, then there you go. Follow us yep. on all the social media. The official ballot has been posted. Or if you just yep. want to go to one central place to make your life easier, stogiegeeks.com forward slash uh, 346. And away you go. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Sounds good. Happy birthday to Nelson. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to Johnny. Happy Ooh. birthday. And for all of you Stogie Geeks out there, we encourage you to be safe. Make sure you wear a mask. And remember, we keep the conversation going all week long. Visit stogiegeeks.com, facebook.com forward slash stogiegeeks. Email all of your complaints to Drew at yes. stogiegeeks.com. I want to remind you, behind every cigar is a story worth knowing. Get out there and increase your knowledge. Stogie Geeks, we'll see you next time with the results. Peace.